Hello, fabulous superstar Gemini. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of March 2020, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. It is a huge astrological month where so much begins to become more clear. And in many ways, I do think this is the month that will foreshadow some of the bigger lessons and bigger learning for you in the fullness of time. And by the fullness of time, I mean over the course of this decade. It is that consequential. And so the big reason for this, or one of the big reasons for this is Saturn. It is going to be on the 22nd of March that Saturn will change signs, moving into fellow air sign Aquarius, a brand new part of the sky for you. And it will be at the very end of the month that Mars and Saturn will meet. And this is really the moment where I feel it serves as a, a true insight into what it is that's changing for you, what's shifting for you, in particular, where it comes to understanding your place in the world. Now, of course, I will have a Saturn special horoscope, so be on the lookout for that in the first part of March. But for now, I do want to say that this is a time that is going to point the way to some of the larger lessons that are gonna be there for you. Are you happy with your place in the world, philosophically, religiously as well, in terms of the religious philosophies that guide your life, the spiritual beliefs that guide your life? Are you happy with where you are in terms of the country you live in, the city that you live in? Are you happy with where you are in terms of your education, in terms of the credentials that you have? And where is it that your political understanding is and how politically active do you want to be? These are gonna be some of the larger questions that do play out for you, not just now, but in a larger context. Right now, Saturn's just dipping into the sign of Aquarius over the course of the spring. July 1st will leave and it will be at the very end of this year that Saturn will move in here. And as Saturn leaves, Pluto's gonna move in here. So as you can see, this is a larger lesson that is gonna be playing out, but it's Mars that serves as the activation. So do pay attention to your life. What is it that's showing up for you? What desires, what is changing? Does it feel like a whole new way of understanding, perhaps a new spiritual tradition or a new paradigm? Is it showing up for you? Are you realizing that what it is you've always believed, those guiding principles, they're just not working for you anymore? Whatever your unique answers are, they will come right to the surface as we get to the very end of the month. And this will serve as a moment for you that will serve as a touchstone that you'll come back to again and again not just now, but certainly in the years ahead. So do pay attention and do be on the lookout for the Saturn special horoscope soon. But what else do we have happening this month? Well, other big things are taking place. We do have a super moon that is playing out right around the ninth of the month. Now, what is a super moon? Well, it's basically a full moon that is happening closer to the earth than it might otherwise be. So it is appearing to be larger in the sky, brighter in the sky. And just like it sounds, the symbolism becomes that much more heightened at this time as well. For you, this full moon happens at the very foundation of your chart, the bottom of your sky, having to do with home and family of origin. Now, there are some things I really like about this full moon for you. I love how it is speaking in empowered and blessed conversations with Jupiter and with Pluto. There is strength here at this time and very likely a lot of emotion playing out, but we also have Neptune standing across the sky from this full moon. And what that tells me is things may feel like they're changing. It may feel like a certain situation is ending, but you're also really excited about what is ahead. And so one of the more immediate ways this energy might play out is buying, selling, moving, uh, changes on the home front that you might have some either mixed feelings or just some sadness about as certain situations come to an end. But you're also really excited about what's changing now and what is evolving forward from here. It's as if in your spirit you know that what is changing now is right and you are ready for it. 
Now, this part of the sky also speaks to what is happening with your family of origin, your parents in particular, where that applies. So this could be a time where you are wanting to spend time with your family and it can be a time when you are looking at how it is that you can facilitate meaningful change and empowerment all around for yourself and for others. Now, I would also add this part of the sky is connected to feeling at home within yourself, your body, your skin. And this can be a powerful time of looking at whether it's beliefs, whether it's disappointments that have been there and deciding what's going to move forward with you, deciding how it is that you are going to step into a deeper sense of being at home with you, knowing that this truly is, you know, they say the body is the temple. This is the home that we have in this lifetime and you deserve to feel at peace with it. Well, this full moon can help you with that tremendously. Now, as we navigate later into the month, right around the 24th is when we are going to have this month's new moon. This new moon is taking place in a part of the sky that has to do with friendships and groups you belong to. It will be speaking in harmony with Saturn, newly in a brand new part of the sky. And what this tells me is it isn't just about what's happening in terms of friendships, although there may be a sense of new beginnings with friends in your life or new people showing up now, but they in some way are informing how it is that you may be evolving now, how it is that you may be changing now in terms of your own philosophical or spiritual or political opinions. But ultimately, this supportive energy does say that it's up to you. It's you that decides to follow up with questions or to seek further insights, to decide where it is that perhaps you want to learn more. You wanna dive in more deeply and then take action to support that. That is in general ways, always your decision, but especially with Saturn, it relies on your own sense of taking action so that what you learn and what you reap ends up strengthening you that much more and ends up being that much more valuable to you as well. Now, where it comes to matters of love, it is gonna be right around the fifth of the month that Venus is gonna move into the sign just before yours. So this means a few things. Next month is huge for you. I'm giving you a little bit of a heads up and I will have Venus special horoscopes that you may want to look at as well over the course of this month because next month Venus is going to move into your sign and that is going to begin a larger Venus retrograde season. So really you are on the precipice of huge and important shifts and changes where it comes to understanding where you are in love and why and what you really want and to connect with an authentic sense of worthiness to have love in your life that is meaningful to you in particular i'll be here to talk about it every step of the way and like i said be on the lookout for that especially for you and in many ways what is coming up is going to mirror 2012. now let's put that aside let's come back to this month this month Venus is going to spend almost the entire month moving through the sign just before yours. And that is a placement of cleansing. It is a placement of a lot stirring underneath the surface, within your soul, within your psyche, within your spirit. And this is where you get to decide what you're going to take into your future and what you're not. So if you're open to meeting someone new, it is possible that you could connect with somebody under a month like this, and it may take you very much by surprise. I do think in the first part of the month, it is Venus meeting Uranus that is going to be the defining connection of Venus. And this is being surprised by love. But for you, the surprise will likely also be a part of realizing that this person may be more complex or there may be some factors there that are rather inconvenient that have you wondering whether or not this is something that you want to continue pursuing now what you decide to do is always up to you in light of your unique circumstances but it does look like what is happening in terms of new people or someone new that you meet isn't something that you're ready to shout from the rooftops just yet for those of you who are just starting to date somebody this energy can turn love inwards love more quiet 
So whether it is that it feels like you're learning things about this person that help you to understand that their life is more complicated than you initially realized, but what can also happen under this is that one or both of you just gets more busy in different ways and in different areas. And as a result of that, maybe can't spend as much time close together. But I do think that there are gonna be these moments of respite. There will be some beautiful alliances taking place between Venus and Jupiter and Venus and Pluto. So there's a lot to look forward to here. But it does say that even with these quiet moments that you may be able to carve out, just know that it may feel as if there are other factors playing out so that it isn't necessarily moving forward at the quick pace just yet. And for those of you in an established bond, I really like this energy. I feel like this is connecting on a soul level with your partner. And for you where love and communication and conversation are so intimately connected together, that tends to be how it is for Geminis. It may feel kind of uncharacteristic to not need to say everything or talk about everything, but for what you feel to be enough. And it looks like what you're feeling is deeply connected with your partner. What I love about this month for you, well, look, it is a huge astrological month for all of us. And it's not just about what's happening now, but how it fits into the larger context, not only of the year, but certainly of the decade ahead. But for you, I love how this is air energy that is being lit up. It is ultimately energy you'll be able to tap into to your advantage that much more. And if you're not sure just how to do that, just wait for that new moon happening in the second part of the month because it will be your friends and your social connections that point the way to the beginning of a powerful exploration of your truth that you will arrive at in your own time. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week, and that's probably a good idea with this month given all that is happening, astrologically speaking, such a powerful month ahead. But yes, log on to NadiaShaw.com, sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.